Hello everyone, this is Baum and welcome back to episode 27 of this Let's Play The Calamity Mod. In this episode, we will focus on upgrading our equipment in order to stand a chance against the final boss of this mod. But first, we should check out what we can make with Yaron Soul Fragments. The Silver Armor, yes, we definitely want to make this one. Holy shit, we need a lot of Yaron Soul Fragments for this. 45 for the whole armor, that's like... 7 or 8 Yaron kills. Oh my god. Kill me! Shadow spec bars. Uh, we can only make these after the final boss. Ark of the Cosmos. I probably want to make that one. Dark Sun Fragments. Sounds like we would get that stuff from the Soul Eclipse. Which, you know, in a way resembles a Dark Sun. Great sort of Blah. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Blah is, um, he is the creator of the Exo Avalon mod and a member of the old Avalon team. So this weapon is a tribute to another amazing modder. And it's an upgrade to the Great Sword of Judgment. Which I'm more than happy to see, since I really like that one. And the wand, which clearly is a troll weapon. One damage and uses 500 mana? Sure. <laughs> there is definitely something crazy to this one. Alright, so let's do this now. We need Dark Sun Fragments and I'm sure we get those from Soul Eclipse Monsters. <laughs> they take quite some hits now. That's really cool. I like the idea of everything getting stronger as you get stronger, right? So the buffed versions of the Frost Moon, the Pumpkin Moon and now also the Soul Eclipse are just awesome. In my opinion at least. Mothron got almost 800k health now. That's a lot. And now that I see Mothron, it's probably this guy who drops the fragments, right? It would make sense. Finally it's dead and... Yep, I can already see the fragments. Oh my god! Waifu, save me! Jesus! I almost died just then. Now I'm not sure anymore if I actually like these buffed events. <laughs> Wait, what? Excuse me? That was only one fragment. Are you serious? I hope we get more fragments from this one. Only two? Come on! We need like 100 for the final armor set. I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's more than 100 fragments. Alright, I got 10 Dark Sun fragments by now. So let's see if we can craft something with them. We could craft the Great Sword of Blah now. And... I think we should actually go ahead and do that. Here we go then. To craft the Great Sword of Blah, you need the Great Sword of Judgment, 5 Nightmare Fuel, 5 Endothermic Energy, 5 Yarn Soul Fragments and 5 Dark Sun Fragments. Oh damn! What a fabulous looking weapon! Nice! Oh, it's such a great and fun weapon! I love it! And I'm so happy that there is an upgraded version of it now. And it's also a nice tribute to one of the most influential people of this modding community. The original Avalon mod and the Exo Avalon mod definitely inspired a lot of people to create their own mods. Here we go! Now we got to kill this dude. A lot of times. <laughs> and I'm definitely not looking forward to doing that. Oh no! Well, okay then. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Stupid Infernados! Oh my god, yes! I hate fighting this dude. And by that I mean, I love it. It's just that it's extremely nerve wracking. So we got this weapon now, the Phoenix Flame Barrage. A magic weapon which, well, looks like it would be quite a good weapon for mage dudes. Who would have thought that? And we also got Dragon's Breath, which I don't have any ammo for. <laughs> nice. And we also got the Profane Trident, which has crazy throwing damage on it. Cool. Okay, now I got some ammo and this is what the Dragon's Breath looks like. I just noticed that we also got enough Dark Sun Fragments and Yaron Fragments for the Ark of the Cosmos. So let's also craft that one. Why not? Alright, here we go then. Uh, the only thing that changes in the weapon descriptions is the damage, but... Hopefully, there is more to the upgraded version. Oh yes! That's a lot of projectiles at once. Looks pretty sweet. And you guys actually seem to have quite a split opinion about the Ark of the Cosmos. Uh, some say it's freaking glorious 
and some say it's just overhyped. So I can't wait to try it out myself against Yaron and to then give my own crappy opinion on it. Okay, excuse me for a bit, I have to beat up some burps to get some more summoning items for Yaron. Ugh, that was only enough for 4 summoning items. Oh well. Oh yeah, also, before I forget about it, there are new, even more powerful healing potions now. Omega Healing Potion restores 500 life. That's a lot. And we would need blood orbs to craft them, which I have never seen before. But maybe blood orbs drop now? Now that we've killed Yaron? Uh, I don't know, but you guys definitely do know, so... <laughs> Please tell me how to get blood orbs. Thank you very much. So let's give the Ark of the Cosmos a shot. Uh, that's really good damage actually. But it will become quite useless in his later phases since he then starts to ignore homing projectiles. But for now, it's doing really well. Yeah, now it's not that effective anymore. Uh, maybe we can still do some damage with the Great Sword of Blah. Yeah, not bad. When he gets close, it does good damage, but I kind of regret putting the Devil's Devastation to rest now. You fucking... Mm. Nope, nope, not gonna rage. This fight went on for about 5 minutes, maybe even longer, and to then die is just... soul crushing. I hate you, Yaron. I hate you, Drew. I hate you, Calamity Mod. And I hate you, Terraria. Go eat a banana. Hey, Foam, it's 2017. Nobody knows what sarcasm is. You might want to explain that you were not serious about what you just said. Hell no. Okay, well, obviously I love Terraria and the Calamity Mod and the creator Mountain Drew. But I still hate you, Yaron. Well, okay, I actually like you too. That's right! How does it feel, Yaron? How does it feel to get strong? Oh my god, I can't. I can't stand the stress of fighting this dude anymore. This douche pushes me to the edge so hard. Yaron's Kindle Staff. Oh, look at him! It's like the Bumblebee version of Yaron. <laughs> I love it! He looks so cute and innocent. It's glorious. Well, we still need like 30 soul fragments for the silver armor, so... Let's continue with this madness. Oh, thank god it's over. Why is this boss stressing me so much? Man, I can't wait to pet my cat. So I can restore some of my sanity again. What? We got the psychotic amulet? When? How? This is really important since we need it for the final armor. Well, thank you, I guess. But I still would like to know where we got it from. Yep, knew it. We need this amulet to craft the Auric Tesla helmet. Oh man, we only got 18 out of 45 yarn soul fragments for the silver armor. And we get like what? Five? to 7 fragments for each Yaron kill? Fuck me, man. Is it okay if I just start crying now? <laughs> ha! We actually got 20 already! Hell yeah! Oh. Oh yeah. That seemed fair. Oh, I want to rage so hard right now, but... You guys know me. I don't rage at all. I'm the calmest, most chill person in this world. Okay, let's continue. Easy! A melee weapon, finally! Oh, that's one fast moving projectile, nice! This gotta be one of the few close to endgame melee weapons which doesn't have homing projectiles. But it makes up for it with super fast moving projectiles. And it does good damage. But I still prefer the Ark of the Cosmos and Blast Greatsword more. Nailed it! Easiest boss fight ever! Yes, 35 Yaron Soul Fragments! We are so close, guys. But of course, we are out of summoning items, so I have to take care of that problem really quick. Here we go! We just have to kill two more Yarons. 
We can do this. Well, I can do this. You guys are just watching. A little bit more help and moral support would be appreciated, guys. Oh my god! He was like three hits away from dying! <sighs> the pain! Oh, thank god! One more to go, probably. Or can we get 10 soul fragments out of one treasure bag? Fine! Five fragments are just fine! Oh, and not a melee weapon. Um... I guess I found my new primary weapon. <laughs> Yo, what up? I'm a chicken. <laughs> God damn it, stupid dashing mechanic. I'm trying to be funny here. Anyway, the burning sky seems to be an alright weapon, right? <laughs> No, but seriously, I feel like it will do really well against Yaron. In his first phase, every weapon with decent DPS is doing well, so let's jump forward to his later phases. Uh, surprisingly, it's not really better than Blast Greatsword. Okay, nope, I take it back. <laughs> nice! And that should have been the last Yaron we have to kill. Yep, yet again, we got 5 fragments and another Burning Sky. <laughs> Yay! You know, it would have been great if we got Burning Sky on our first Yaron kill, but whatever, RNG. What the? So, I bought some rockets to check out the chicken cannon and, well, the area of effect is quite big. So, by now, we are also short on Cosmolite bars due to crafting Bumble Burp and Yaron summoning items. So let's go and make the summoning item for Doggo and kill one or two of them good boys. Ah, <sighs> Burning Sky, I love you. Probably one of the cheesiest weapons I came across thus far, but I think it's okay for farming purposes. Oh my god, we are even short on Souls of Might now. I'm getting Necromod flashbacks. Um, we can't craft Doggo's summoning item? Did they change it? They did change the crafting recipe. Now we also need Phantoplasm. Phantom Heart. Permanently increases maximum mana by 100. Um, sure. I don't need it, but why not? Ah, oh, I missed you, doggo. Let's do some true melee action here. Nope, nope, okay. <laughs> Maybe not. There we go. So we got 43 Cosmolite bars now. That might be enough. Let's have a look. Yep, it's enough for the whole set. So here we go, silver helm, silver armor, and silver leggings. Sweet! Uh, let's hope it was worth the struggle. Silver helm, 34 defense, 18% increased damage and crit chance, and plus 5 max minions. Set bonus, you are immune to almost all debuffs, which I think includes the irradiated debuff. Uh, that's what people said at least. Uh, reduces all damage taken by 15%. This is calculated separately from damage reduction. Oh, that's pretty cool, I think. <laughs> all projectiles spawn healing leaf orbs on enemy hits. What? That sounds really good. Well, depending on how much these orbs actually heal for. And max run speed and acceleration boosted by 50%. Silver Armor, 40 defense, plus 200 max mana, plus 300 max life, 20% increased movement speed and 10% increased crit chance. And Silver Leggings, 36 defense, 45% increased movement speed. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> so the set bonus sounds pretty nice, but will it be worth it to replace the super powerful God Slayer set bonus? I don't know. We will see I suppose. Let's do a quick Yaron test fight. Yep, the healing seems to be really good. But will it be good enough to carry me through the whole fight? Ah, uh, honestly, I liked it more to know that I get a second chance in case I die. But overall, the healing is pretty nice. Phew, we did it! Nice! So, the armor is probably better than a Godslayer armor, but I didn't really notice too much of a difference, to be honest. Well, besides the healing, of course. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. And until next time, I will actually prepare all the materials for the final armor, so that we can craft it right away at the start of the next one. And by doing that, we will have enough time to take on the last boss of this mod. Well, the real bitch is going to be farming all the Dark Sun fragments, as Mothron only drops 1-2-3 pill kill. 
which is just insanity. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me derping around. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a sweet day and stay awesome.